Okay, so we just finished doing our blink process, so now we're going to start on the weighted batch processing. Normally, you can go to process, all processes, or I'm sorry, <laughs> go to scripts, batch processing, and weighted batch processing, and that's where the weighted batch processing is. Um, I've got the icon already set up in here, so we can go through it. And the way that I've got these grouped is I've got weighted batch processing grouped with cosmetic correction. Um, essentially, uh, inside um, the, the weighted batch processing, I, um, you can tie to cosmetic correction, which will help clean up uh, bad data inside your images. So um, I'll show that real quick here. So if we launch it, it's gonna pull up this little script window and then you just hit the little circle button to execute and it's gonna open up the weighted batch processing. So in here, I've got cosmetic correction set up and you need to use a template. Well, the template's tied to this icon over here. So essentially the box is check marked and then I just chose cosmetic correction. So we can take a look here real quick at cosmetic correction. And in cosmetic correction, what we have is we're using an auto detect to do hot pixels and we're doing it at um, a level of three. Um, if you have more hot pixels in your image, you may wanna try to adjust these numbers. Unfortunately, there's not a way to preview how much is gonna pull out in terms of the cosmetic correction. Um, you can you can do a real-time preview on an image that you're looking at um, but again this is outside the realm of what i'm showing uh, these are just default settings and it does a really good job in my opinion of pulling out the information uh, but you can play around with it and, and do what you please uh, with modifying and editing the images the other thing that's check marked in here is cfa um, and this is for the color camera um, so again we'll launch the script and in here, um, it, 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 like I said, it's got the cosmetic correction set up. Now, all these settings that I have set up are based on um, configurations of going through um, uh, IP for AP.com. Um, also, there was some other information that I learned from some other videos about the weighted batch process that I also applied. So one of the things that I don't do is optimizing dark frames. Um, I, I want to say his name is Adam Block. I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I'll have to go back and probably edit the video. but. Um, Essentially, in, in the not optimizing the dark frames, he has a really good tutorial, and I have a link to it. It's worth the watch. It's really long. It's very technical, uh, but I think it's very helpful to understand uh, why you don't optimize your dark frames when you're um, because basically what it's doing is it taking your bias. Uh, and your dark and whenever you take a dark image there's still some bias in there but depending on how long your dark is it could be manipulated with the bias and so um, so instead of doing an optimization of that um, Adam explains it much better than I will so I don't want to go too in depth with that so I'll, I'll just have a link to his video if you really want to watch it but I don't have that checked and the rest of these are again based on settings um, from IP for AP.com uh, the next thing is uh, the debayer. This is going to be your Bayer matrix, um, uh, basically the uh, filter that's on top, or I'm sorry, the Bayer matrix is basically on top of the CMOS camera, which is setting your colors that you have on a Bayer matrix. So uh, it, it basically has little dots and all those dots uh, of pixels are basically colors. So it goes red, green, green, blue, uh, and there's a bunch of different um, Bayer metrics colors that, that are possible that manufacturers release. If you're manipulating your own data and going back and using my script, just make sure that if you're doing it on a DSLR or one shot color, that you're using the right Bayer matrix uh, pattern. And you can Google on your camera to find the specific one. For the ASI uh, 533 MC Pro, it's uh, RGGB, and it was the same uh, for my Nikon D5500. Uh, uh, the next thing in here is image image uh, registration. Uh, the only thing that's changed in here for the parameters is for uh, the PIX interpolation. It's set to LAN uh, CZOS-3. Um, that's the one thing that, again, a lot of this stuff that I'm taking or I learned was from watching the IP for AP videos. Um, in here, uh, on in image integration, the other thing that's modified on here is it's set to uh, Windsor Sigma clipping. And that setting is also on our flats, our darks, and our biases for those settings. So those those are just the basic settings that I wanted to go over. Uh, to use the weighted batch processing, you can just add your files. Um, because I'm using the ZWO ASIR, it has a really good naming conversion on the files, uh, and it, it keeps everything as biases, lights, darks, and flats. Um, so when I add the files, I can just add all the files in one lump sum, and it automatically puts them where they belong. If your filing, uh, if your naming convention is not really good, um, you can just add each file manually. So you can go to add lights, add flats, and add darks. So what we're going to do is just add all our files. 
Uh, we just want to go to the images folder, click on the top one, scroll down, click on the bottom one, highlights everything and hit open, and it'll automatically input everything. So we have our bias images, our darks, our flats, and our lights. Uh, at this point, I uh, have checkmarked auto detect uh, best reference frame, so I'm going to let the script find the best image that I have and basically use that as my main image. And then around that, everything else is going to be integrated or stacked, as, as some people like to call it. In here, we want to put an output directory where everything's going to go. So we just click on the little button here to browse. And then what we're going to do is go back to the registration folder that I created. At this point, we have everything done. We're ready to go. Uh, and again, I'm not going in depth with this. There's a lot of stuff with the weighted batch processing. You can do calibration only. Um, you can change a lot of different things that you do within here and run a lot of uh, different stuff. And again, I, I think that video that I've got a link to, if you really want to go and understand the, the process and extremely in depth, it's worth the watch. Uh, this is just really quick. Uh, 10,000 foot view of kind of some settings and basically what we're going to do. So at this point, we're ready to go. We're just going to hit run and then it's going to give us a warning. Uh, we just hit continue and then it's going to start comp uh, comprising all the images and creating, uh, integrating them all and creating our final image. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and uh, we'll catch up once this is complete.